Hello, my karma babies. I'm sitting here in the car waiting for my daughter, uh, Jackie, to come out from uh, an appointment that she had. And I was just sitting here and I was thinking, you know, uh, let me talk to my karma babies again about um, the economy and what's going on. And um, I haven't talked to you guys about that uh, anytime recent. There's a couple of things that I wanted to touch base on today. Of course, we all know that the economy is, um, is, is, is out of line. It's out of line of my pocketbook. I don't know about yours, but it's out of alignment with my pocketbook. I was at Walmart the other day and uh, I noticed just looking at some of the prices, of course, just like everybody else, I see everybody kind of walking around like uh, like we're in like we're zombies almost, you know, we're, we're walking around like, wait a minute, why is this so high? There was a 10 pound bag of great value chicken breast. Now, I don't normally buy a lot of chicken breasts. I've, I've never really been a fan of chicken breasts. Uh, I like, you know, wings and I like thighs. That's about it, really. I, I'll eat, you know, legs and things like that. But I usually don't buy chicken breasts. Now, I did in the past buy chicken breasts for my... Uh, for my Yorkie. She likes chicken. So, you know, I, I bought chicken breast for her and frozen, individually wrapped, put them in the freezer, take take one out, you know, cook it up a little bit for her and throw some veg veggies in there because I want to keep her as healthy as possible, right? So the other day I'm at Walmart and I'm looking at the chicken breast and a 10 pound bag of great value chicken breast was $32 and I think 89 cents, $32. Have you seen the price of chicken wings lately? Guys, um, if you are not stocking up, if you're not stockpiling, if you're not buying um, canned meats, if you're not canning your own meat, if you're not growing your own garden, uh, I haven't really started full blown in my garden yet because I do have health issues. Although my daughter is going to be helping me. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to get the things in there that I want, you know, out of the garden. But, um, you know, you got to start preparing, guys. When you go to the store and you're buying your food, buy a little bit of extra of whatever, you know, because the next time you go, the same thing that you're buying that little bit extra of is going to be a lot extra. It's going to cost you even more money. My sister-in-law sent me a picture and I'm going to try to post the pictures. I'm going to try to post the pictures of the of the, the chicken breasts. And I'm going to post the picture of the um, next item that I'm going to tell you about that I thought was crazy. I could not, for the life of me, believe the price of chitlins. A, what do they come, five pound bucket? I think they come in five pound buckets. She was at her store and the five pound bucket of chitlins was $29 and something, $30. Now you know, and I know whoever eat chitlins, I don't eat them often. I do eat them on occasion. They're usually between five and $10. Between five and $10 for a five pound pail of chickens and now they're nearly $30. Eggs have gone up. Uh, you can barely find any um, pet food like dog food, cat food. You know, you look in the aisles, one little package of uh, dog food, $2.50. If this is any indication of what's going to be coming down the pike, What's already coming down the pike? We are in big trouble, guys. We are in big trouble. 
I said all of that to say this. You know, we've been talking about it and talking about it and talking about it. I've uh, showed you my stockpile. I've showed you how to secure flour and beans and peas and things like that. And I have some more uh, videos coming out of how we can store food that I'm going to be showing you in the very, very near future. Um, are you doing it? Are you stocking things? Are you storing your things? What are you doing? So that's the big question, guys. So that is the big question. I'm looking around me because, you know, I am outside sitting in the car. Are you, are you prepping? Costco and Sam's, I believe, now have uh, limits again on, on products. And one very disturbing uh, information that I want to share with you, there is a shortage of baby formula. I was looking on my Facebook page the other day and one of the young ladies in my community, uh, she posted on her, she recently had a child, I believe her baby is about a year old now. She posted it on her page that due to the shortages of the baby formula and the high costs and the high prices, um, she was wondering if anybody in the community needed baby, baby milk, baby formula, that she had some frozen baby formula that she would want to share with anyone in the community um, because her child is not using that formula anymore. That's a wonderful thing that she did and that she's doing coming together as a community, helping each other. Because, you know, if your child is hungry because you can't find formula, you can't find milk for your baby, that's very scary, very scary indeed. So, you know, she posted that and she got remarks and comments were coming in quick, fast, and in a hurry. Um prices of things. We all see the prices of gas. What's next? Do we just continue the way we are doing? I guess we do because there's nothing that we can do about it. As consumers, all we can do is sit and look at the prices and decide whether or not we are going to spend what monies that we have on what they're putting out there for us. People are going hungry. I can see the look in people's eyes when I'm at the grocery store. If you can't buy, I was looking at just, you know, paper plates, the prices on paper plate plates, the prices on toilet paper, those are, you know, paper plates you can do with or without. You know, pull your dishes out and do your dishes. Then you got to pay for your dishwashing detergent. Uh, I do my dishes by hand. The prices have gone up on that. Everything has gone up. What are you doing to help it decrease what you're spending out? Are you growing a garden? You know, do you have food? in your pantry that you can go in and, and, and take canned goods out of your pantry and eat on that once or twice or three times a, a week, as opposed to spending, you know, a, a ton of money at the grocery store. You can just about forget eating out. Some of these restaurants, you know, some of them are still pretty reasonable. If you call paying, you know, by the time you get through having a burger, you could pay ten, eleven dollars. I mean, guys, that's that's a lot of money for a burger to eat out for a burger. You know, um, eating out is really, really a privilege now. It is a very uh, <laughs> privilege, privilege. I don't know what the restaurants are going to do. 
chicken wings are like, you know, everybody like chicken wings, right? I like chicken wings. Everybody like chicken wings. Chicken wings are, you know, for a package of them. I don't know how many are in a package, but they're like $12, $13. It's not that many. They're at least a dollar. You know, if you look at uh, when you eat out, wings are almost like a dollar a wing. And, and then now they're like a dollar a wing when you buy them out in the store. Um, somebody, I just saw somebody passing by there. I'm concerned that a lot of people are not paying attention to what's going on around them. Uh, now, I've been talking with you guys about this for going on now two, three years. I know two years for sure, close to closer, closer to three years. And if you bought every time you did your grocery shopping, if you bought one or two or three more items, you know, an extra can of corn, an extra can of beans, an extra can of peas, an extra thing of mayonnaise, a bag of beans, you know, to, to, to fill up uh, five gallon buckets of beans. Uh, the, the rice was at a pre, you know, you, you could buy rice for little or nothing, a big, huge bag, of, like a 20 pound or 25 pound bag of rice for under $10. Now the price is, you know, is up there, you know, is a 10, 15, is $15. I don't know. I, I haven't looked really at the prices of rice lately because I I have, you know, I have five gallon buckets of rice. I, I, I've been preparing, but still when I go to the store, you know, ha it habits is, I guess it becomes a habit, you know, I still buy, instead of one thing of liquid detergent, I will buy two. You know, the old saying, two is one and one is none. Two is one and one is none. Because if you got two, you're going to be using one, right? So that leaves you one. And if you only have one, you're going to use that. So now you got none. Um, so when you go to the store, stock up. Buy extra bags of beans and peas because when push comes to shove, I guarantee you a lot of people are like, oh, I don't eat beans. I don't eat peas. I don't eat this and I don't eat that. When it comes down to it, the way that is coming down to it now, you're going to be eating beans and peas. China is urging again their uh, citizens to stock up. Uh, New York, the virus has started to rise again. There was a crisis there in the past. We all know what was happening in New York. Remember when they had, you know, the uh, the um, the cars and trucks and vans and things outside of the hospitals and and people deceased bodies were piling up in there guys it's coming again it's quiet now it's quiet now but as the summer goes on as things increase you know everything the virus is go, is on an uptick the virus is on an uptick uh new york city the virus is on an uptick Fortunately, in my town right now, there's been zero uh, new cases of the virus. And I'm so very thankful for that. I'm very thankful. But I'm in a very small community, a very small community. And uh, I, I, I just, I feel that that's a blessing. That is a blessing. You know, sometimes I, I miss Chicago. I miss all the restaurants. I miss, you know, the people. I miss... A lot of things but for right now the way the world is I'm happy to be where I am so I'm just sitting here waiting for my daughter to come out of her appointment and I just felt the need to talk to you guys because I haven't talked to you in a while about stockpiling about putting things away and you know it's been a while since I've even watched the news um, because Sometimes, you know, you just have to step back. Even though you step back from the news, stay 
focus on what's going on around you. Stay focused on what's going on around you. Be aware of what's going on around you. And don't get caught sleeping, guys. Don't get caught. Well, I'm getting hot. I'm going to have to let the windows down or turn the air on. <laughs> I'm getting hot in here. And uh, guys, I just had to come to you and talk to you about stocking up. Um, maybe I need to do some more videos about prepping. We can do that over again because I'm going to start uh, canning more things. I'm going to start, uh, you know, really prepping more things. I've got to get my storehouse in order. So we'll get together, guys, and we can do this together. Just, just you know, step out on that limb and don't pay attention to the naysayers around you that say, oh, don't worry about stocking up. Don't do this. Don't do that. Remember, Noah, be prepared, guys. Get yourself together and remember how others treat you is their karma. How you respond, my babies, is your karma. The prices are going up. Check the chicken. Check the uh, gas prices around you. Check, you know, uh, the meat prices in the stores. Everything is going up sky high. It keeps going up, up, up 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 every week you go to the store the prices are up $33 for a 10 pound bag of chicken breast $30 for a 5 pound bucket of chitlins that was waste that is you know they're they're the intestines that people used to throw away and now they're $30 for a little five. And you know, a five or a 10 pound bucket of chitlins. No, I think they're a 10 pound bucket. But by the time you get through cleaning them, you got five pounds. Guys, prepare yourself. Get ready because it's coming. You see it. I've been telling you about it. I've been warning you. I want you to be prepared by a little bit at a time. Grow a little bit at a time. Okay, guys, I love you. And I'm going to go. I got to get the windows down. And I'll see you in the next video, babies. I love you. Bye-bye now.